Coping with Trey Taylor, giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life. Because we'll always be coping with something. Coping. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us on Coping. I'm Trey Taylor. We're giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life because we will always be coping with something. Today, we're coping with community. Oh, Veta Glover joins us to discuss the Black History Month Pray. Karamu is uh, coming up next week. Oh, Veta, thank you so much for joining us today. It's all good. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We'll come back with her in just a short, short, but first your uh, community updates. The city of Columbia is working with corporations to transform city-owned vacant properties to build affordable housing. Now, there are seven target areas, including Booker T. Washington Heights, Belmont, and King Street. They'll be developed, and while there is no concrete timeline, officials are already pre-qualifying those that are interested in the housing. You can see the number on the screen. Uh, and you can call the Community Development Office directly at 803. 803- 2543886 McDonald's is launching chicken free nuggets Germany will be the first to get the McPlant nuggets followed by a nationwide follow flow of uh, follow up next month the fat fast food giant will also bring back its seasonal shamrock shakes and oreo shamrock mcflurry for St. Patty's Day that'll happen on Monday February 20th As a vegetarian, I can't wait to taste the McNuggets. (laughs) I digress, though. Raquel Welch has passed away. The award-winning actress, who was named the most desired woman in the 70s, was 82 years old. And according to her management, she passed away briefly, uh, peacefully after a brief illness. SCD Heck has your most up-to-date list of times, dates, and locations for COVID testing, COVID vaccinations, and also flu shots. Visit scdheck.gov for more information. Now, scrolling at the bottom of the screen, you will see information about COVID, about financial resources, and more, including where you can still get your mail-in COVID test, the self-test that you can uh, keep at home. Also, the VA, that's the place where uh, veterans need to get their COVID test and their COVID vaccinations. The several... Um, retail outlets that uh, give you tests and vaccinations, Kroger, CVS, that includes the CVSs and Target stores, and also Walgreens. In Columbia, South Carolina, the Comet bus system also has an opportunity for you not only to get your COVID test right there on site at their main location at the corner of Sumter and Laurel Street, but you can also uh, catch a free ride to get your vaccination. Get set up if for anyone that has some uh, difficulties with the internet, if you need some help getting your vaccine appointment set up. They've got free classes available. Also, you'll see several pieces of uh, financial information scrolling at the bottom of the screen throughout the show, which includes the FEMA funeral expense COVID reimbursement, Lexington County's bill assistance program, Dominion Energy has a bill assistance program. And if you or someone you know is having a challenge coping, you can contact the South Carolina Department of Mental Health 24-hour line SC Hopes. Also, information about Team Rewind. Coach Dawn Staley has uh, launched a uh, dinner to support those who are dealing with diabetes. That's uh, happening in just a couple of weeks. You can see that information on the screen. And then if you or someone you know is in high school or college and needs some scholarships, the uh, Coolidge Scholarships for America are currently offering a free ride and applications are available. All of that information and so much more will be scrolling at the bottom of the screen throughout the show. So please post and share so we can get the message to the masses. You're watching Coping. I'm Trey Taylor. We are streaming live on the Taylor May production page on Facebook. Please go over there, hit like and share and follow. Find out when we go live every Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday, then on Thursday and Friday. We are also streaming live on the um, YouTube channel. There you will find three years. March will be three years that we launched the show. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) We have got three years worth of information, resources, and interviews to help you cope. We also have a presence on Instagram and also on Twitter. I'm Trey Taylor and you are watching Coping. We're giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life because we will always be coping with something. Today, we're coping with Black history and community. Ovita Glover uh, joins us in just a short, short. She's going to tell us about Karamu, the Black History Month Parade coming up next weekend. We'll talk to her coming up next on Coping. I'm Trey Taylor. 
Computers, they're a part of our everyday lives. But when they're not working, they're an everyday problem. So call Computers Unique, your everyday solution. 803-351-5821. Is your computer running slow? Won't turn on? Do you need a screen replaced? Or maybe you just need another computer? Well, Computers Unique is your one-stop shop for all your computer needs. They have a wide variety of new and pre-owned PCs, Macs, and tablets. So call Computers Unique, Dutch Square Mall. 803-351-5821. 803-351. 5821. Hi, I'm Judy Gatson. As a news anchor, wife, and mom, I know how important it is to take care of our health. Part of taking care of our health is knowing if you're at risk of type 2 diabetes. Prediabetes is a serious health condition and puts you at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. It's estimated that more than 1.3 million South Carolinians have it, and up to 90% have no idea. Take a moment to visit inittogethersc.org to take an online test to find out your risk of prediabetes and how to join a diabetes prevention program that takes the guesswork out of losing weight, eating better, and being more active. You can learn new ways to stay healthy and sustain those changes over time. When you join, you'll even get support from a trained lifestyle coach to help you set and achieve realistic goals. Go to inittogethersc.org, brought to you by the Diabetes Action Council of South Carolina. How you doing? I'm Trey Taylor, and you are watching Coping, uh, hosted by me, Trey Taylor. We're giving you info and advice to help you thrive and survive in life, because we will always be coping with something. We're streaming live on the TaylorMade production page over on Facebook. Uh, please hit like and share and follow. Find out when we go live, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And also, um, we're streaming live on the YouTube channel. We've got three years of content there. Next month will be our third year anniversary. I'll tell you, that is just so incredibly amazing to me. And I just thank God. I give them all the glory and all the power and, and everything else he deserves. But uh, go over there and hit the subscribe button and you'll find some great resources there, information, interviews, and resources to help you cope. We also have a presence on Instagram and also on Twitter. I'm Trey Taylor, and now today we're coping with community. The 19th annual Karamu Black History Month Parade is next weekend. Ovita Glover joins us to tell us all about it. Thank you, beautiful, so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. As usual, thank you so very much for what you do, too. Absolutely. You. Girl, you're looking like money over there in that green. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Look, shine on me. I know. That's right. You better manifest that thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say hi to Christy Savage, who was watching. She says, good afternoon. Let me ask you uh, something first. Ovita, why did you think it was important to create this parade? Well, if I relate to today, what's going on with the CRT, them not wanting us to teach in schools, our history, I'm glad I began it because we've got to, to uh, educate our people. And I'm, when I say our people, all people. And I'm not just thinking about the um, yeah. typical Martin Luther King, et cetera, et cetera. So 18 years ago, my father, um, God bless him, Dr. B.J. Glover, we were talking and he said, well, baby, you got to tell your story. If you don't tell it, nobody else will be able to tell right, it right. the way that you can tell it. So then, Trey, I said, how in the world can I tell my story? Happened to go to the Christmas parade and said, this is it. You know, I see all right. these people watching that Santa Claus. But And then I said, this is what we need to do. Because we as people in general like to be entertained. And that's what parades and festivals are all about. This particular event, you walk away with some education, you know, and that's the objective of the whole event. So if you can't read it, you can hear it. Somebody will be able to tell you about Ovita Glover was one of the 11 uh, African-Americans for the state of South Carolina out of Charleston to integrate the public schools. We were right. the catalyst. And so that kind of information needs your, your next door neighbor may have done something. So we want to bring people to say, hey, you may not have known about Trey Taylor being the first broadcaster or something like that. <laughs> right. So those are I wasn't, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's how we came up with it, you know. Uh, and I took it to Mayor Bob Cobo. And he loved the idea. And Trey, you and Johnny Green were the first announcers that <laughs> we had. 
when we first got started. And, you know, awesome. we started downtown. Yeah. Yeah. And then after the parade, the, the last one we had, folks were saying, is this all? You know, because it wasn't a very long, long, long parade. So right. that's, then I got with Parks and Recreation down in MLK Park and uh, we connected and it's been on since. Awesome. So yeah. tell us uh, some of the uh, exhibits or some of the floats and stuff that we'll see this year at the parade. Well, you're going to see, of course, our um, Congressman Clyburn will be one of the Grand Marshals. And Annie McDaniels. We also have yeah, Representative Annie McDaniels um, from District 41, who was one of the first Black females out of that district to be elected. And that's that's some history in itself. Yeah. Um, the other floats, of course, we will have the cars, the motorcycles, the horses. The kids will be able to ride horses this year again. Uh, we have a kid zone, merchant zone, you know, where you can do the African attire. Um, and I'm very excited about the importance of the information tables that we will have this year. Mm -hmm. um, speaking about diabetes speaking about HIV AIDS, speaking about some of the other devastating diseases, hepatitis C, um, informing us, I should say. Uh, we will also have the different entities that will be doing testing uh, for those that I just called. And so come on out, get the free testing. The kids can um, go to the kids zone and do what they do there uh, and learn some history too, because that's one of the things they have to know they be tested down on that end too so it's very good um and as i said we, we've grown throughout the years the festival has become better throughout the years as well um the floats uh we're going to have uh, uh different entities uh, the federation of women are going to have a float uh i'm oh, hoping cool. I'm, I'm hoping that the deltas would come out i'm, I'm shouting out to the deltas even though i'm not one <laughs> I'm just hopeful because uh, Annie May, Representative McDaniels is a Delta. So. It's a Delta, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that they would come out and, and do their things to represent and, and, and clap their hands for that reason, yes. Absolutely. So it's not only a parade, it's a parade and festival uh, that kind of yes. culminates right there at MLK Park. Where does right. the parade start? What's the parade route? The route will begin at Hampton and Harden Street, and we would go down through five points, and the reviewing stand will be at the head of the beginning of the park, Martin Luther King Park, and that's where the festivities will take place. So we've right. got Connects. over, we've got vendors, food vendors, merchant vendors, information vendors, health vendors, as I was saying, and I'm really excited about the health vendors because of the issues that we are going, and they're, they're becoming, yeah. Uh, worse because we are not paying attention to what's going on with uh, our bodies. So. Yeah, you're so right. And that's great. I mean, we can never get too much uh, exposure to health screenings and things of that sort, because even today with Obamacare and everything, there's still some people that one may not have insurance. And two, you know, we're just scared sometimes, I think as a people still, yeah. you know, feel some type of way about the medical yeah. um industry uh but but you're right Ovita. people are dying left and right and, mm -hmm. uh, and we're just not taking care of our our health you know i always say we have this wellness wednesday segment and you know people you you gotta like yourself more than you like fried chicken you that's know what right. i'm saying <laughs> so that's right and you know christy savage and i were having a conversation just the other day and we were saying women you know we're having more yeah. women that are dying these past few years than than usual you know we usually are the ones that last it's long on it. Mm -hmm. but it only says that we're not paying attention to our bodies and and Absolutely. as the years go by i just had a birthday i won't say my age but i just <laughs> had a birthday you know and it struck Happy me birthday. um yeah. thank you um and it struck me you know okay it's time to go do what you're supposed to do on the regular you know so yeah. every february i go and have my physicals etc 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 so um, I'm trying to keep up with me. Me too, girl. You know, I tell you, I am really on top of my health. I usually, you know, I get my mammograms. I was just telling somebody because my sisters, both of my sisters passed away from breast cancer. Oh. But one thing I didn't have, and I was talking to my girlfriend, Kat Davis, about it. 
I stopped going to the GYN because I ain't making no babies, you know, but she said, and I am starting to have, you know, a little concerns. And she said, you know, you should always still go to your GYN, whether you're in baby making mode or not, you know, so, so I get what you're saying. You know, we just need to stay on top of it and think about some things that we would not normally have thought about like me with the GYN, you know, that's very true. Yes. Yeah. And those you things, like, those things, like if your hand are itching or, or you know, you're getting those tingly feelings in yes. your hands and feet, that's a warning. It is. So I'm saying people pay attention to your body warnings, you yeah. know, so you'll be able to use it longer. Yeah, Kim Hicks uh, uh, says she can't wait for it. Thank you, Kim, so much for watching. So um, tell us the where, when, of uh, and, and I want to know, too, I mean, what does Karamu mean? Karamu in Swahili means celebrate, to celebrate. celebrate. Okay. Yes. So yeah. and I came up with that because it's a celebration and I yes. I researched the um, Swahili language and 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 there was Karamu. <laughs> uh, so that's way, where that name came from. That's what it means. Awesome. But we will begin, as I said earlier, we will begin at the beginning of Hampton and Harden Street. Uh, go down through Five Points, past Food Lion. Good parking space, y'all. Shout out to Food Lion. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then go into the park um, area where the festivities would sit. It starts at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. We roll in until 5 or 5.30. Okay. The music is going to be awesome. We have a talented young lady from Augusta, Georgia, by the name of Javon Jones. And she oh, plays wow. the electric violin. Wow. And I, I was still so thrilled about her because I can remember me being a child at nine years old and the violin was my instrument. I <laughs> wish I had kept it up because I probably would be doing what Javon did, but I didn't. My violin teacher moved out of state and I, it just broke my heart. So I didn't go. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and then we'll have uh, Unison, which is a very good male um, group mm -hmm. here from Columbia. A young man by the name of Zach Saunders, who's just putting out some new music. His music is awesome. He plays sax. Darius Stocks, uh, he has doubled up with uh, Javon Jones. In fact, they have something going on this weekend. Uh, and some other, um, uh, Jeffrey Lampkin with the gospel, oh, Benny cool. College with the gospel, a young lady from Charlotte. Uh, originally from Charleston, named Lori Harkness will be there. Diana Williamson, mm -hmm. Lady Di is what we call her. Yeah. She'll be there doing her thing too, and also the MC. Uh, of course, John and Green Kiss will be doing their thing as well. So we are excited again this year. And I just want to say to those that came last year to come again, pass the word, bring somebody with you. There's no reason, Trey why this particular historical event cannot be made uh, exciting and as large as five points with the march. Uh, what is that? That green thing. Um, St. Patty's Day. St. <laughs> Patty's Day uh, or the Christmas parade. You see what right. I'm saying? So, and again, I have to stress the point about being able to walk away with some type of education. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, 19th. It's the 18th. It's February the 18th. By I mean, it's the 18th. Park festivity. Yeah. Right. Oh, the 18th. The 18th. Okay, I'm looking at Yeah, 18th. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. And it's on the 25th, so, and it starts at 1 o'clock now. Mm -hmm. All right. 18th. Musical Commission. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Musicals, I was just naming some more of the um, uh, people that will be there. Musical Solution is a very good band from Columbia, South Carolina. So we've got some entertainment for you, both gospel and R&B. And &B. Um, your, some of your favorite food vendors, like our top chef will be there. Yeah, um, the young man from out of Charleston, Chuck Town Seafood would be there. The Italian lady would be there with her Italian goodies. And we've got some other folks. So the food would be good as well. We've got vegan. Oh, I'm excited yay. about that. Yes. I'm excited about that too. 
So oh, that's it. That is exciting. That is exciting. So there's something for everyone, something for the kids, for the older people, younger people, food, fun, festivities, uh, vendors, health screenings, and so much more. It's the 18th annual Karamo Black History uh, Month Parade happening next weekend uh, in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, let me ask you this, um, uh, Ovita, what about funds? Funds is uh, your organization, uh, Friends United as a Neighborhood Development um society and yeah. uh you guys launched this back in 1997 to educate tell me a little bit more about the foundation before you leave um it, it developed from my mother being a diabetic and ha and died from the complications of diabetes wow. and she was in a hospital tray for a month you know going through the complications and she had a roommate and it was, it was a caucasian lady and i me being me always going in and seeing about them, this, that, and the other. And that lady said, my mother, I said, y'all, what can I do to help? You know, I need to tell people about this. What can I do? That lady said, tell the folks, don't be afraid to let somebody know that you are a diabetic because they may mm -hmm. have to save your life. Right. They right. may have to save you. I said, save a life. Yeah. You'd be surprised what a mint can help somebody. Yes. Too, you know? So, and with that and having conversations with the two of them, because I would grew up with, you know, not grew up, but when my mother developed sugar, is what they used to call it, yeah. sugar, <laughs> uh, with diabetes. And that's what we would use always here. Oh, Lord, my sugar's up, you know. Yeah. You Give me a piece of candy or something and that kind of stuff. And so I just felt the need to develop this organization to, um, to, educate about the devastation about diabetes and another disease that's quiet is hepatitis c yeah so we are working we started working out there i'm getting bad getting ready to regroup with the organization the parade started so i can get the education out about black history but the group in itself actually is about the devastation of diabetes and hepatitis c and any other health issue that we may come through so it's a it's a it's a ball of everything really is what the organization is about when we get out there and talk about it. Yeah. Uh before you leave, I want to ask you about the NAACP because uh, you also are very integral part of the NAACP uh Columbia, South Carolina chapter. So uh, what's going on with the NAACP? Well, I am the president of the Columbia branch in AACP. And right now we are looking and we've got our eyes on that um prison situation um so that we are seeing them through i hope to see them do what they say that they are going to do and the only way that we can do that trade is keep our eyes and ears open and let them know keep letting them know hey we've got our eyes and ears on you what is it that we can do to help you do what you need to do mm -hmm. you know sometimes people just need help Sometimes people just need a push. So yeah. that's what we are working with. Of course, we still have the Housing uh, Navigators Program, which we started, we launched okay. in 21. Yeah. And that was launched because of the eviction uh, moratorium and, you know, the all the evictions COVID. that were coming up. Yeah, during COVID. So we're still accepting calls for that and trying to assist people with that. Those are the most two important things that we do. Of course, that many calls come in about all they call us about anything my dog walked across the street what can i do about it you know i'm not being facetious but but yeah. many calls and i'm a stickler for customer service if we can help you we'll find somebody that can well and and that's what the NAACP is about advocacy for um black and brown people and and you know so listen I, and that's good to know that not only are you on top of the big things like, you know, inequity, perhaps in our prison system, yes. but yes. also everything. Uh, I can't walk my dog across the street, you know, because <laughs> of whatever might be happening in that neighborhood, because for, for somebody that's important to them. Yes. yes, very much so. So feel free. Uh, you know, I'm wearing the two or three hats, but, uh, uh, I answer that I give out the same numbers to answer all calls, whatever that I'm wearing. So, and I would like to give that number too in reference to the the um, parade and festival, if I may. Yeah, please call, go ahead. I think we've got the the, the 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 graphic too. Okay, you can call eight zero three three six one 
1-800-273-5470 if you need any information about the event coming up on the 25th, which is the 18th annual Black History Parade and Festival. And we look forward to seeing all of you, those that are online right now, you see the fly past the word, make this thing happen. We need you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once again, Avita Glover, uh, her information is on the screen. The 18th annual Black History Month Parade is uh, going on. Uh, you can see her email and her website. So if you want more information about the parade, her today. Thank you for all the parade. Well, thank you so very much again. Trey, I'll see you there. Yes, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, girl. Thank you so much. Glover, thank you again so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Thanks. So listen, if you have a story or initiative that could help someone cope, please email Josephine at booking at copingwithtraytaylor.com. If you have a, a product or service that could help someone cope, please email copingwithtraytaylor at gmail.com. We would love for you to be a proud sponsor, just like In It Together SC. Also, the uh, Fifth Circuit Solicitor's Office, Attorney Byron Gibson, Javis uh, Financial Services, Palmetto Media Connection, uh, Black Pages, Black Expo, the Comet Bus Systems, Computers Unique, Jet Square Mall, and Agape Counseling and Training Services. As always, we leave you with a reading from my Jesus Calling. It's February 16th. And today this says, thank me for the conditions that are requiring you to be still. Don't spoil these quiet hours by wishing them away and waiting impatiently to be active again. Some of the greatest works in my kingdom have been done from sick beds or prison cells. Instead of resenting the limitations of a weakened body, Search for my way in the midst of every circumstance. Limitations can be liberating when your strongest desire is just to live close to me. Quietness and trust can enhance your awareness of my presence with you. Don't despise these simple ways of serving me. Although you feel cut off for the activity of the world, your quiet trust makes a powerful statement in spiritual realms. My strength and power show themselves more effective in my weakness. That's your Jesus Calling for today, Thursday, February 16th. I'm Trey Taylor. Hey, uh, tomorrow on uh, Coping, we're going to be talking with Kim Mitchell from the city of Columbia. They've got a Heritage Ball coming up uh, next weekend, also next weekend, and also they have got a uh, other things going on. So we're going to talk with Kim Mitchell with the City of Columbia. She's going to update us on everything going on at the City of Columbia Park and Recreation Department, including their Heritage Ball next weekend. Hey, until the next time, I wish you peace and abundant blessings. Please take care. Stay well. God bless. And uh, COVID is still out there. The flu is out there. RSV is out there. Sinuses, it's right smack dab in the middle of a sinus season with the war weather getting warmer. So uh, it's still a good idea to wear your mask. But listen, you got to wear it over your nose and under your chin. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you tomorrow. Coping, find peace of mind to survive through whatever. Coping, learning the way that we thrive all together. Success for improving our life. Coping beyond hoping to do more than survive. Ways to live a healthy life. Coping and promoting learning what you can do. Six ways to a better you. Coping, find peace of mind to survive.